welcome back to Morning Coffee. Megan here with another video on organization, goal getting, productivity, and personal growth. And today we're talking about something that can be really hard, which is navigating transition. We will be transitioning into different phases of our lives every season, every year for the rest of our lives. And so today I wanted to share a great resource for you on how to prepare yourself for success during a transition. If you like videos like this one, this would be a great channel for you to subscribe to. Please go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can be part of my community here on YouTube. I have a goal to start our channel here with a thousand subscribers here in 2020. I would love it if you'd be one of those subscribers. So thank you so much for considering it. Let's get into the tips about talking about transition. So I started thinking about transition because as you are all well aware, depending on when you uh, listen to this, is that the COVID-19 pandemic has been hitting our world and we've been in quarantine for the last two and a half months or so. I'm not sure what it's like where you're living, but here in Wisconsin, things are starting to open up a little bit, including my workplace. And so, it's so funny, you know, we made this transition into quarantine and now I've got this really great, awesome, like working from home routine that I really like and I really love. And now I have to figure out how to transition out of that transitional phase into getting back to normal life or as close to normal as life is going to get. So I was thinking about transition and whether or not we are in a global pandemic or not, transition is something that's going to happen in our lives repeatedly over and over and over. Maybe you're welcoming a new baby. Maybe you're making a big move. Maybe you're changing your career. Maybe a parent is aging and they're moving in with you. No matter what happens throughout your life, throughout your life stages, you'll be transitioning from one phase into another. And because this is such a thing that we will all be dealing with regularly and repeatedly, I wanted to put a resource together for questions you can ask yourself to set yourself up for success in whatever transition it is that you are navigating. So I put together a free printable for you. Check the description box below for that link. You don't even have to give me an email address. It's completely free. It's a Google link. Click on it print it out and keep it so that when you are navigating a transition, maybe when you start to go back to your normal life post COVID or with any transition, maybe it's helping your kids transition from summer school to actual summer routines. I feel like there's a lot of transition happening for everyone out there. And so this printable is the perfect resource for you to work through how you're going to set yourself up for success in whatever that, that transition might be. So I have seven questions that I'm going to pose to you and that you should pose to yourself when preparing for a new transition. Again, they're all on that printable below, but we're going to talk a little bit more about them individually. The first question is, how am I feeling about this change? Sometimes our brains are so cluttered with all of the distractions that we might under, we might know that we're feeling a little bit of something, but we don't actually know what that thing is. We can't identify it, we can't pin it down, we can't put it into words. And something as simple as asking yourself the question, how am I feeling, can get you started on the right path towards changing whatever those feelings might be if they're negative or if they're positive, grabbing hold onto those and using them for energy and motivation to navigate the transition. So when I think about going back to work post COVID-19, I'm, I'm actually feeling a little anxious about it. Um, I'm feeling a little bit of nervousness about the pace of my life intensifying again. The one positive about the quarantine was that it made our lives simpler, right? It eliminated my commute. It cleared things off of our calendar. I got to spend more quality time at home with my husband, which is something that I love. And so now going back into normal life or having my life pick up again, all of those things are coming back in. And I'm feeling a little bit nervous about how I'm gonna feel with that life picking up, with the pace of that life picking up again. So one great question to ask yourself is how are you feeling about this change? It'll kind of give you a good sort of starting point and, and base 
for moving forward. The next question to ask yourself is, what things keep me centered as a person? What things keep my life centered? So when you think about the rhythm of your everyday life, what are the things that sort of keep you grounded? What are the things that kind of keep things moving along smoothly? So when I think about the things that keep me centered on a daily basis, I think like, okay, I plan my night, my day the night before. I get out, get out my planner, I identify my top three things, I kind of lay out what my day looks like. That helps me every single day. Practices like my start to day journal and stuff like that also helps me stay in a rhythm of being productive and happy and make me feel like I'm centered. And beyond the things that kind of help me set my mindset, there are things that just keep my life running, right? Like meal planning, getting my groceries, doing laundry, keeping the house clean. These sort of like logistical pieces that are like the building blocks for actually making your life work. Taking the time to kind of identify those like anchors is a great way to help you focus on making sure those things happen, right? I know that I'll feel completely crazy if I don't have groceries in the house, or I know that I'll feel all out of sorts if I'm not looking at my planner. Kind of identifying those key things that keep you anchored will help you focus on making sure those things happen. When you have those building blocks in place, navigating a new transition and a new season is that much easier. Another great question to ask yourself is reflecting on the, the season that you're kind of in right now, reflecting on what things about the season were fantastic that I want to hang on to. So for example, when I'm thinking about moving on from you know, working at home, there were a couple of things that I really loved about that season. I got out and walked more often in my neighborhood. I got more reading done. I had more creative time. And those are all things I loved about my season. And though it may not look the same going into the next phase of my life, going into the next phase of my life, it there are ways that I could incorporate those things. Taking the time to reflect on what's been working super well for you in the last couple of months can help you maybe pick out a few things that you want to incorporate into the next season of your life so you don't lose them. A lot of planning your life has to do with really analyzing what's important to me, what's working for me, what's been bringing me joy, and how do I do more of that? So that's what this question really helps you answer. While you are brainstorming these things, it's important to identify obstacles that you can see coming your way, right? I know that my work schedule is going to mean that I won't be home at 5 p.m. I will likely be commuting back from work home, and that's normally when I would walk. So I know that that's a roadblock. I know that's coming. And so I need to figure out a strategy to circumvent that. Identifying the obstacles that are going to come your way is probably the biggest thing that you can do to set yourself up for success in whatever challenge you might be facing next. Because things will happen, right? Like life happens, things happen, things get in the way. And if you don't set yourself up with a plan B or a plan C ahead of time, you're gonna run into issues and you're gonna feel like giving up. You, instead of putting all these roadblocks in your way, know that they might be coming and write down some strategies that you can use to circumvent those obstacles so that you can keep moving forward with what you want. So now that you've sort of reflected on how you're feeling and how the last season of your life has gone and you've identified the things you want to bring with you and how you're going to make them happen and how you're going to overcome the obstacles that come your way, you got to figure out how am I going to have the energy to do this? So what things give me the energy I need to have the, the motivation to make these things, these things happen? So I know that my work life is going to be crazy. I'm heading into a really busy season and that's going to demand a lot of energy from me. So just getting through life is gonna require more energy than I've been putting in. And there's these other things that I wanna bring with me and that I wanna do and that I wanna work on. So I need to figure out what it is that gives me the stability 
the emotional and mental energy that I need to make them happen. So for me, things like getting enough sleep, I tend to stay up a little bit too late. I need to make sure that I'm reverse engineering my bedtime so that I have plenty of time to sleep. Nothing's going to be more important to me in this busy season than getting enough sleep and making sure that I have the energy to take on what I have to take on. So that is another question you can ask yourself. What do I need to do so that I have the energy to tackle these things? Lastly, the most important thing that you can do when you're reflecting on anything, the most actionable thing that you need to do is identify a list of action steps that you're going to take. So you've just spent all of this time thinking about this transition so you can be intentional about being successful, but all of the thought doesn't actually make things happen, right? Action makes things happen. So at the very bottom of the, of your, of the prompt, at the very bottom of the printable, identify some key actions that you can take to make all of those things happen. So for me, one of my action steps is every week, I will plan out when I'm cooking. I know that meals and meal planning and having food is something that keeps my life running smoothly. And with my new work schedule, I might have to use my crock pot more or make meals at night or make meals in the morning so that they're ready for dinner time. So one of my action steps was to add to my weekly reflection every week to plan out my cooking and my meal times. That is something tangible and actionable that I can do that will actually move me towards navigating this season smoothly. So that's the most important thing that you can do after you're done reflecting is pick actionable items that you can do to set yourself up for success. Transition can be really hard and transition can be messy if you don't set yourself up with some intentional thoughts and actions and steps to move forward. doesn't mean that the transition is going to be perfect. It doesn't mean that every day is going to go wonderfully and be easy and all of that, but it means that I'm giving myself the best chance I possibly can to make the transition as smooth as I can. I'm doing what I can to help myself, right? Your life is already hard. Don't make it any harder. Do the things you need to do to set yourself up with success. I mean, nobody pictures the best version of themselves or the best version of their lives as someone who's running around crazy, stressed out, trying to figure things out, always feeling pulled in a million different directions. Nobody wants that for their lives, right? You don't want that for your the last season you're in and you don't want that for the season that you're coming into. And so spending some time to be intentional about those things is definitely a worthwhile investment of your time and your energy. Make sure you check out the description box below with the link to that printable so that you can help yourself navigate through whatever transition you're working through. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you again for another video on Sunday and Wednesday. Thanks so much for watching.